right, Shalom. All right, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. All right, we prophesy the downfall of the Edomites. You other nations are going into slavery. Okay, and the world to come. every nation all right the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we're the children of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai so um, before we get started as always we're gonna give all praises honor and the glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Aragak Kodash and of course as always double honors to our apostles and our elders never well at Great Millstone Salutations to all you since you're Aki and preaching this word <laughs> in all truth and sincerity. Okay, so, yeah, um, you know, Ecclesiasticus 18, we're going to start in, you know, to remember, um, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, you know, all this, everything we see, this whole creation, everything was for us. It's all creation. Everything is about is, is about us. You know, as a people, uh, uh, and His only begotten Son, as that as that forerunner, now, okay, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai. See, our people call Him Jesus Christ uh, uh, because they don't have a zeal according to knowledge, man. Okay. They think when we're going yet, going upon Yahweh Shai, we're speaking of a different, uh, of a of a different man. Although it's not a man, he's not a man that they know. You know, they read the scriptures and visualize this great man, but when they actually think of a, a physical appearance, you know, they think he's a so-called white man. You know, but anyways, if they're going. Sacrifice for the nation of Israel. He said he, he told he told his disciples when they seen him, you know that he lives forever now. Okay, he he lives forever. All things that were created by the heavenly Father, he gave to the he, he gave the Son that blueprint to create. You know, he that lived forever. I'm talking about our our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. so-called white men, the wicked. Okay, it says he created the wicked for the day of evil, which is Jacob's trouble, which is about to uh, 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 come to this world. The time of Jacob's trouble, we're about to enter into that time. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai set up the prophets to wake up and warn the elect of his people. Okay? Not all Israelites are going to receive this because they're Israelites. Okay? This is only for the election. Oh, can, I, can I say something? Bro, just like uh, we was just in the McDonald's getting uh, water cups and there was hella Jake's in there, but you can't call them Israelites, man. Those were demons. Yeah. They, they, they were heathens, bro. Yes. Yes. Those are, you know, uh, those are, those are actually They have, they have not the spirit. That's the, the, you know, and you can feel that vibe, that 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 wicked evil energy, man. You know, especially on these young Jakes. You know, but if you don't have the spirit, you're not you're not really an Israelite, man. You're you're actually in, in, of the world, man. You know. 
This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that take counsel, but not of me. Right, it's woe to the rebellious children. Okay? To, to, when you're rebellious against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that means you're not following His commandments. That's what it means to be rebellious against the Lord. See, we strive to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That has to be your mind in order to make it out of you, in order to receive protection. In order to build a relationship with you out by Shemiah Shai, which like the brother said, we're out here to help you to do. Yeah. This actually what this actually our service is, you know, uh, uh, first and foremost, we have to conform ourselves to the ways of the Lord, and then that way we can spread the message of the graciousness of the Lord, uh, of you know, the reality of faith, you know, that the Lord has done with you. Okay? And me and the brother would uh in the car, you know, driving the camp, and, and something super spiritual happened, and, you know, you get that feeling like, oh, the Lord actually, that was a message from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know what I mean? Yep. So you get those experiences through serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, those are the benefits that you gain. And, and you know, like, the lyrics were, were straight up. They were, they were righteous. The Lord literally put a spirit on him to write those. Because he was spot on. You know? So yeah, Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children. Saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That take counsel, but not of me. Right. It says take counsel, but not of me. So if you're in the world, you're going to take cues from the world, man. You know what I mean? So you're gonna be looking, uh, you're gonna be looking up to, you know, especially if you're Jake, you know, you're looking up to these different social media stars, you know, these different celebrities, these different people, uh, influencers and such, you know, because out here are all different types of influences and spirits, you know. So Jake takes counsel from these other spirits out here, these different influences. start talking about the Lord, you know, they they just laugh. You see what I'm retired? Yep. You know, and this is a righteous custom that the Israelites were uh, instructed to to wear. You know, the border of blue. You know, the ribbon of blue and the, and the border fringes. You know, to remind us of the law. Okay. But you know, like the brother was going into, you know, as the scripture said, our people, you know, uh, 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 they're under uh, influences by other spirits. And there's many spirits out here because people don't get along because there's different spirits. Oh, yeah. If it was all of one spirit, they'd be wrong. Well, and this is Babylon. Right, which is confusion. Which is crazy because it's like all this gang stuff, you know. You have Jake that's all one people, but because of Esau's influence and these different influences, spirits and demons out here, you got Jake, Jake broken up into all kind of little tribes, man. You know, all these different gangs, they're all these, they're all basically like little tribes, you know, that separate Jake, you know, down to down to like neighborhoods, man. You know what I mean? You got uh, living in the neighborhood, and then one block over, all of a sudden, you know, all these same people somehow are different now, and they're killing each other. And they're, they're living just like, you know, a block away from each other. It's crazy because they're, the, they're, they're just this pretty much the same tribe, but different clans. Right. You know, different, uh, different, uh, and that's, and that's from a, uh, that's from an ideology, from an influence of spirit. Yeah. They say, oh, I like red. So I'm gonna be this. So I like I like blue. I'm from here. I'm from there. You know, which is which is madness. Which is you, you know, give, uh, uh, taking counsel of these wicked spirits out here and not of you all about you know side. It says that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. <laughs> Walk 
to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, you got Jake's. You even got Jake's to have a certain amount of understanding. And they understand that they're oppressed and that, you know, Esau, so-called white man, is evil. But they don't uh, understand it perfectly through knowledge because they're out seeking reparations. They still want to coexist. You know, they still want to uh, uh, be here, not understanding that there's something better. Okay, there's something much, much better. You know, when you're dealing with your house, you know what I'm Because the Lord explains everything to you. All these, you know, questions that you have, like, man, why, why are we going through all this stuff? You know, why are we here? The Lord answers all that. That's right. Yeah. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. I come for serving the Lord. Fear you how by some of our side. Right? Because the Lord tells you, alright, that if you do this, okay, if you seek after you how by some of our side, that the Lord is gonna go go up to bat for you, man. The Lord's gonna take care of you. You're gonna you're gonna be rewarded for it, man. Alright, just for putting your trust in the Lord, man. Psalm chapter 37 and verse 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Follow after the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You gotta put away this world, man. Alright? You gotta put away this world, you gotta seek righteousness. You gotta seek to please the Lord. Yeah, God, it says, commit thy way unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Right. So if you you serving the Lord, man, you're not going after your own mind. But you're going after, uh, the, you know, what you, the Lord wants you to do, okay? Then the Lord is going to bring all these things, all these good things to pass. And you, all you got to do is read about it. Look, look at Abraham, man. The Lord told Abraham, walk, walk with me and be thou perfect, you know? And uh, Abraham believed him and it said it, counted, it was counted to him for righteousness. That, the, that he believed the Lord, he trusted the Lord, man. And and Abraham could could do no anything Abraham put his hand to, it prospered, bro. It prospered valiantly. To the point where, you know, he had, uh, it was him and 300 men were able to chase off a, a enormous army of like five kings, man. It was like five good, different countries. Yeah. That was like the first world war at the time. Yep, and Abraham, it said that he, it said that he chased them down. Yeah. He Even was pursuing them. Yep. And, 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 and Yahweh Shai came to him to, uh, to uh, praise his victory. Right. To honor his victory. He came as Melchizedek. Right. And, and Abraham gave him tithes. Yeah, he said the high priest of the most high, man. Yeah. You know, the scriptures say, no Everything was created, basically everything was created by Yahweh Shai for Yahweh Shai. I don't believe his name. Uh, Barak does it up. I'll have to look at it again, but uh, his name means uh, King of Righteousness. But he was, he was, uh, he was a uh, uh, king, I think you call him the King of Salem? Yeah, the King of Shalom. Yep, which is King of Peace. Yahweh Shai, bro. Like what, Malak Shalom or something like that? Malak Shalom. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord is going to bring to the earth is peace. 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 Yeah. He's going to bring 
bring peace starting starting to Israel. We're not gonna be funky no more. Jake out here funky killing each other. It was just bumming and some meat from my nigga, I know. I'm, I, you know, I don't really mean to call him a nigga because he's respectful, you know, so, you know but he's a he, pretty fucking wild guy. Jake out here, man, wild, man. Jake need to be, Jake need to be clean, cleansed. Right. So Jake can finally be at peace. Right. Because the only way you can get peace is by being an Israelite. And Yahweh Yahweh And two thirds are gonna come back after death and receive death. The only way to get peace is to uh, have the spirit of the Lord on you, man. But that's why it says that this is a rest. Okay? Uh, there's all these scriptures that talk about labor and all these different things, being a yoke fellow. And it's like, how can this be a rest? Well, it's a rest, it's a rest to the to to your spirit, man, to your mind, because it puts your mind at ease. Because you know, like, alright man, I got this superpower behind me that's gonna back me up. You know, when things go down, alright, uh, uh as powerful as Esau is in this world, Yahweh Bashim Shai is far superior. And, and, and really, everything everything anybody does is all controlled by the Yahweh by Shai, man. Yeah. Yeah, we brought it out. Uh, uh, he that liveth forever, Right. So we're hoping to be of the election. You know, foreknown from the foundation of the world. That's what we're hoping to be called and chosen. You know? And if the Lord is dealing with you, it says in the scriptures to give diligence calling an election short so that so there's great hope and mercy in this day man because if you're if, if, hey if the lord if you're of the elect the lord's gonna forgive you and you're gonna be all right man in fact you're gonna be more than all right you're gonna receive everything hey we read right now it says it says uh, uh that the lord is gonna give you the desires of my heart and to put your trust in him and he's gonna bring it to pass well in jacob's trouble What's gonna be the desire of the elect's heart to make it about that motherfucker? And the Lord is gonna perform that. Okay, brothers are gonna need help. Okay, we're, we're gonna be in the in the in the lame terms, the most stickiest situations, man. This place is gonna be crawling with fucking villains. Man. You know, tough guys. You know. Military, military uh, uh, men, you know, with, with, with heavy artillery, with tanks. Well, They're going to be flying uh, 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 helicopters and, and, and bombers over, over Jake's head, dropping bombs on Jake. They show you movie, in movies like, uh, 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 what was that, Brunswick? Bushwick. Bushwick. They show you in uh, 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 Leave the World Behind. They're just bombing cities, bro. You know, the scriptures say one city against another. Uh, Civil War, that movie came out uh, in April last month. You know, and it's about Texas and California rebelling against uh, 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 the U.S. government. You know, what the scriptures speak about that. The scriptures mention civil unrest and, and class wars and violence and, and, and bloodshed in these streets. Yeah, it says when you see these things in, in every uh, every place on earth, then you know that the time is Because well. right. it says it's going to be uproars of the people. Uh, yeah, uproars of the people of every government, bro. Because the thing is, is that, when, you know, the Lord is going to cause the entire world to... Uh, you know, go into this collapse, right? Because Esau spent, you know, the most I had it to where Esau spent all of his time basically putting everybody under his banking system. That way he could hit the reset button because that, you know, that's what Esau wants to do. He wants to take full control of everything. So he basically has this net set up under the world, you know, to entrap everybody in. You know, all these nations, it says all the nations uh, you know, all these, all, these, all these nations are going to be deceived, you know, by Esau in, 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 in the heart, you know, so, you know, when the economy collapses and, you know,
know, the world gets plunged into this economic crisis, Esau's gonna come out with that chip. And everybody's gonna start, everybody's gonna deal with that chip, man. Because what does it say? It says everyone um, that's not rich in the book of life, or something like that, is gonna take that mark, you know? Yeah, right. that's what I want. I want to be Right, right. It says, uh, it's not written in the book of life. Good save. Um, shall worship him. You know, talking about Esau. Right. Okay. Let me get that. Yeah. Slock you. Satan. Satan almost, you know, came in and messed stuff up, but. You know, and that's that, that's two thirds of our people. Two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are gonna take that mark. You know, that's, that's good. I got it. Go or die by different uh, judgments. You know, whoever takes that mark is gonna hit with the nukes or die a grievous death. As the scripture says, you know, some of them are gonna get a. Uh, Oh, this damn man, it's looking. You know, it's like a cancer. What do we have? Yeah, I was looking for that scripture because, like the brother mentioned, they got everybody into this money system. So when they pull the plug, everybody's gonna be in debt and be, have, to be, have to take that grog money. Because the new money, the new system, is gonna be uh, backed by that, that device. Yeah, well because, you know, all this time has been spent with these developing countries, that they've already been using the same things as America, all this electronic banking and stuff. They, yeah, currency. Yeah, they're doing that everywhere, man. That's why it's, that's why all the, you know, China, they're moving uh, towards digital currency already. All these other countries, they all want their own digital currency, which is a trap. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, when cash is done away with, then everybody's going to have to go into this digital system. And then with all the chaos, you know, that's going to be ensued by it, all these different governments are going to implement you know, well, we need to, uh, you know, China already has that social credit score, you know, where basically they, 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 uh, they give you a, a, a number based on how well of a, how behaved of a citizen you are, you know, how much, how much more will an implanted microchip that's able to read your thoughts and your body temperature, track you, you know, you know, know everything that you're doing. Okay, how much more is that going to affect? Where you know, be able to go into the social credit score? So all these, all these governments, these nations are going to use it. because what is what, what do people with power want? They always want more power. Absolutely, total control. That's the the goal of the 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 Aaron Russo had that video with the with the Rockefeller, which is a Rothschild. Just they're all they're all the same, man. They're all the, the elite of Esau, which is Amalek, man. You know, and other Edomites up in there, but Amalek is that chief elves, which are the so-called Jews. You know, they call themselves Jewish. Okay. Now this is a Habakkuk two and five. It says, yeah, also because he transgresses by wine. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. He can't be satisfied. This man can never have enough. This man was created to be Mr. I can never have enough. Okay? He's the most violent, he's a treacherous being, bro. Okay? This man wants to annihilate us. Or he, he wants to. He's going to attempt to, so that he can have possession of everything. He's going to fail miserably, but this man is going to really try
trying to annihilate Yashrallah. Uh, uh, you Israelites, man. It's going to get so bad, bro. This is Michael. He's going to stand for the children of black people. Okay? It's going to take the, the, the angels, man. Yahweh Shai to intervene. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has to intervene. There's prophecy in order for us to be saved. Okay? That's the only person that can save us, man. Is our God. And he's, he's, he's crying out unto you Israelites, man. Does it say in the scriptures he re-stretches re the hand all the day long? Yeah. He's like, come back to me. You ever got a wife, she's, she's leaving you. You love this woman, you're just like, Baby, don't back. go. Yeah. Oh, you got movies that jump to their knees. Oh, uh, 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 riff rap. Bring yeah. it back to me, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me get this. Hold, hold on, real quick. Yeah. In, uh, the last, the last line it says, "But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people." So Esau wants to enslave the world. Man. That's his desire. He wants to. He wants to completely. He wants to be the Most High. He wants to be like the Most High, bro. It tells you that. Actually, I'll get that. Did you have something you wanted? To yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. So it's like, hey, he calls us the bride. Right. You know he's calling back. Okay. You know, like I heard brothers go into the story one time. You could compare Israel, okay, you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, to the wife of Yahweh Shai as Eve was the wife to Adam and went off, got beguiled by this damn demon, bug the fuck out, look at Jake, bug the fuck out, we go in there, you got Jake's and out, you have all different types of beliefs, all different types of styles and, you know, all, all these different spirits. All these spirits. And, and when you're influenced by all these different spirits, you're basically giving in to these spirits. All right. Uh, uh, you know, which basically keep it, 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 it keeps you in the world, man. It keeps you asleep. You know, you how about some you has, has to open your eyes in order for you to see, you know, the truth. Yeah. The Lord actually has to open your eyes to see it. You know. And then, if that comes to pass, you have to move on them. You know, you have to find, you have to search and find out, well, what do I got to do? You know, because if you're in the world, man, the Lord don't care about you. The Lord ain't dealing with you if you're in the world, man. If you don't have the mind of your how about some you outside, man, the Lord's not dealing with you. If you're carnal, you know, if you're... You know, the Lord, the Lord's not dealing with that stuff. Man. Okay, but yeah, there's a, we have the great period, but you know, as as you know, it's been said many times, the gates of mercy are closed. You know, the door is closed. This is uh, Isaiah uh, 14. And 13 it says, For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high. So Esau, Esau, you know, he's feeling himself, man. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 1 Moreover the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai came unto me saying Son of man set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it and say unto it thus saith the Lord power Yahweh by Hashem
stretch out my hand against them, and I will make the most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be the most desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Shemaiah Right, with Mount Seir, that, that's where Esau, that's where Edom was. You know, so it's basically saying, you know, set your face uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to shake the hand at Esau. All right? Because uh, uh, that's the wicked. That's the devil, according to the Bible. This guy is, is, is ruling the world in unrighteousness and, and wickedness and evil. And everything is out of order. Everything is out of order. That's why you see Jake in the condition that they're in. All right? Because Esau did that. That's the point. Ezekiel 35 is dead. Because the Lord said, these two nations and these two countries shall be one. And we will possess it for as Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai was there. That's mainly, well that's talking about Esau, you know, captivating us. These two nations, these two countries, the northern and the southern kingdom, those two olive branches, they stand before the Lord. Right. Or as it, as it talks about in uh, uh, Roman, uh, Roman uh, these two prophets that have tormented the nations when we were in power. Right. Bro, during the times of King David, we were going around, bro, we were going around, every, it, the world was fighting before David, bro. Because Yahweh Shai was with David. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was with David, bro. And that's a good, uh, a good, uh, uh, those books, man, are good to read. Because it shows you that David wasn't perfect, bro. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai loved David. His mind was in, his heart was in the right place. Yeah, he knew he was a, he was a, a, a wretched man. We're all wretched men. Hey, the flesh is weak. The spirit is wonderful. You know, sometimes you do things in the flesh that you would not in the spirit. You know what I mean? And, and it's just being a condition of the battle. And it says in the scriptures, we have, you know, uh, uh, a, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, I, I, I can't think of the word for it, man. It's, we have like a, Proclivity is the word. It's like proclivity to doing evil, man. You know, you're, you're, it tells you in the scriptures the world, was, you know, man was given the evil from their youth. There's, there's, there's something in you that's always warring against the spirit that wants to please the flesh, that wants to, you know, the, 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 do, do wrong, man. You know, and you have to fight against that.
And by you putting off those ways, the Lord has favor in them. Yeah, the Lord sees that. Oh, we're going to bounce back to that Ecclesiasticus because it goes into this topic. And exactly. We're uh, uh, edifying you. You know, that's why you don't beat yourself up, man, when you, when you, when you slip here and there. You know? Now you're going to slip to the point where you are going to beat yourself up. But don't throw in the towel, man. Oh, shit. This is Sirach, uh, 17 and 31. It says, What is brighter than the sun, yet the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine evil. It says that, uh, what does it say? Uh, we were bound in these chains of darkness. Yeah. Because we can't be perfect, bro. So we're literally bound in this sinful flesh, man. And we have to fight against the wickedness of, of this, this within your own mind, within your own heart, man. So it's like that, that your spirit has to be willing. It has to be your mind. It's like your intent is it, it, to serve you. How about you, you know, man? You know, you got should. Yeah. You should. But you know, you have your mind has to be to get back up and come back stronger. Well, it says a righteous man get back up. A righteous man to get back up. You know? yeah, uh, this is uh Surprise 23, 18. A man that breaketh red heart, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. And that's not just a bad thing. Because, sure, if, you, if you're in the spirit of uh, you unbelief, Right, right. You're in the spirit of unbelief and you think you can just get away with anything. As Apostle Ron Lob always says, you can't out-slick the slickster. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you know, you can't outsmart smart by Shimei Shai. You know, you can't call yourself an Israelite and then at the same time be like, oh, yeah, I, I can just do it. You know, nobody's around. I can do whatever I want. You know? But also, on the flip side of that, the Lord is considering the deepest part who you really are. So if your mind is ultimately to serve Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai, and, and your mind is to repent and, and do good and seek the Lord, man, the Lord considers those things. The Lord knows what's in your heart, man. The Lord knows your true intent. You know, sometimes we do things that's not what we intended to do. of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know, the brother mentioned it's not just for judgment, not just for trying to find wickedness. The angels also give report to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai have good deeds. Right. They're right here watching these people. We can't see them, but they're there. And that should also keep you in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in a humble state, man. Because you can't see them, but they're there, man. Look, remember the time of uh, uh, love, right? The donkey seen the angel. The donkey seen the angel standing with the sword, ready to smite him if he, if he crossed that line. tell you, you know, like, you know, what does it say? Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith, you know, know that the spirit of the Lord is in you, lest you be a reprobate, and a, you know, a reprobate is somebody that, that doesn't, doesn't know how to get right, man, you know, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Sirach 18 and 1. Oh, he, 20. oh 20? Sirach 
18 and 20, before judgment, examine thyself. See, before Ooh. judgment, examine thyself. And brothers are there. We're here to examine each other. You know, that's why um, we, we encourage each other. And the scripture says, exhort one another, uh, paraphrasing, uh, to earnestly contend for the faith. You know, <laughs> we gotta earnestly contend for the faith. You gotta, you gotta earn that. You gotta do that. Okay? You gotta, you gotta be active. You know, and this is, this is the work. You know, we do our sit downs. You know, some, sometimes things come up. Um, but this is it right here, man. You know, this is the main course. You know, this is us. Presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't do that indoors, bro. You got guys bug out, fall out, and just go to doing fucking three hour, three hour indoor lessons, but never step a toe out on these corners anymore, man, on these streets anymore, man. And Luke 9 and 62 says, you put your hand to the plow. Looking back, you're no longer fit for the kingdom. So you know, this is it right here. But you know, like the brother mentioned, we gotta, we gotta actually, uh, you know, uh, earnestly contend for this faith, man. Good. Hold up, hold up. I wanna get something real quick. Uh, uh, what you're talking about? 